semi-decent. Hmm. Now when you pour sodium through hydraulic fluid, if it's not quite hot enough, you get a lot of beads. It appears we may, to, may have done that. You see it kind of breaking apart there. Certainly not what we want. Not at all. Boy, that's disappointing. Just the whole thing just crumbles into a bunch of little tiny babies. All right, well, we're going to have to try that one again. That did not work. Let's uh, get it a little bit hotter and see if it works any better. All right. All right, I'll be back. Melted it and give you kind of a close up of what it looks like there. I'm going to pour off into this first. Let me get my thumb out of the way. get rid of that hydraulic fluid so we don't have the same problem with it beating up hopefully on the second time through. I also went ahead and heated it up a little bit farther. I hadn't put so much hydraulic fluid in there, but you know, you got to keep it from oxidizing. So you do, do what you can. Uh, let's see if I can get you a close-up. Oh, there goes that. What that looks like there on the inside. Isn't that pretty? That's just pure sodium, other than a little bit of hydraulic fluid. Now see the skin that's happening on the top, that's because I don't have any hydraulic fluid on the top. It's oxidizing. So the hydraulic fluid doesn't look real pretty. But nice thing is it really doesn't react with the sodium. Keeps it from reacting with other things. So it's important for you to make sure you're following any safety precautions that you know of and try to find out as many as you do, you can find. So you'll notice I'm wearing face shield, heavy gloves, Nomex fire suit. So, all right. Well, let's wait for that to set up a little bit longer and we'll see what happens. <laughs> 